Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm the Three of Hearts. And I am going to do a split cup pour. And I believe that that was the technique that was submitted by Fiona of Fiona Art in Slovenia. So thank you, Fiona, for the challenge. And away we go. So this is my very first ever split cup pour. And fortunately, I had ordered this lovely three chamber cup from Marcy of Pixpedia Girl. And I was given the colors by Fiona of gold, blue, turquoise, violet, and white. So I'm going to start layering them in the chambers. And remember, this is my very first time trying this.
And I've watched Fiona do these split cups, and I see the reason for using a spinner uh, or a Lazy Susan to rotate the painting, as opposed to having to rotate your hand with the cup. So I've sort of done, I guess, what would be called a traveling split cup. And so now I'm going to add a little bit of flow extender around the outside so that I can stretch this and uh, create some really pretty patterning. And I must say these colors uh, just worked so beautifully together. Really good color selection, I must say. As you can see by how the paint moves on this canvas, it's a medium thick consistency. So my paints were mixed three to four parts Floetrol to one part paint and a very little bit of water. Uh, my understanding was I wanted it to be relatively thick so that the patterning would hold its shape. Um, and that's what split cups are all about. Um, mine didn't turn out to be quite the classic split cup but um, it did turn out to have some really pretty effects in it. And for a first try, I was very pleased. This is only a little 14 by 14 inch canvas. I was doing an experiment, but it's pretty nice. And I wished, of course, that I'd done it on a larger canvas. Um, so we're gonna look at all the pretty little bits, and then I'm going to show you my second go at doing the split cup. And you know, I, I did have to do some schmears, but I, I, can, I controlled myself. I didn't do a lot of schmears, but it's kind of what I feel I have to do to every painting. And uh, so I did a couple little nicely placed schmears and some swirls towards the center, which just added a little bit more interest to me.
I had enough paint left over to do a second painting and uh, of course I did it with the idea that I would then have a choice of which painting I want to submit for the collaboration. And uh, turns out both of them were pretty nice and both very different in, in their own way. So I'm using the same colors, I'm layering them differently in the cup and in my own special way. I managed to turn the camera off while I was doing my traveling split cup pour. So we're gonna go straight from layering to stretching. As you can see, I changed my mind and decided to do this on an oval canvas. And it turned out to have been a good, de a good decision. I like uh, my composition not to be strictly centered and doing it onto a, an oval canvas gave me the opportunity to create a more interesting composition, as you'll see.
I'm so very pleased with these colors. Uh, in this one, the violet uh, was certainly more prominent than it was in the other painting, uh, but it has a beautiful translucency, and you can see some of the layers coming up from underneath. Yes, I smeared. Did you think I was going to get away without doing that? Just a couple little bits to um, just draw out a few lines and make the flow a little nicer, in my opinion. So I didn't get the results that Fiona gets, but I'm still very pleased with how this came out. Uh, that pretty gold in the center that sort of blended a bit with the turquoise to give a green, the violet and the gold there is really pretty. And there's a lot of translucency. And these, this violet area with the white, it reminds me so much of lilacs. Uh, I was very pleased with how, how the colors work together. And uh, I think I'll be doing more split cups and it was wonderful to be challenged to try something new. And I think we all need to step outside our comfort zone and give something new a try. Um, as I usually say, beauty lies the other side of fear. And uh, I think most times when we're painting, we're stepping outside our comfort zone and maybe that's when we get the best results.
I really want to thank Lee and Jeremy of Massey Art Studios for all the work that went into organizing this uh, collaboration of 10 very unique people. Uh, it was an honor to be included. Thank you very, very much. I want to thank all the other artists for participating and uh, taking on the challenges. And so from here, we're going to move along. There's a few more studios that we're visiting today, Saturday. And uh, the schedule's coming up in just a second. I think right after my video ends, you're gonna head over to Lee's uh, channel, uh, Massey Art Studios. He was the Four of Hearts. And right after Lee, we have Fiona, who was the Five of Hearts. And the last one for today is Jilly Rice Cube, all the way from Australia. And she had the Six of Hearts, and she's doing a great big schmear. Now, Sunday, we start off with Jeremy from Massey Studio, uh, followed by Cause Creations, Gina DeLuca, and the last one of the day is Marcy Mixed Media Girl. And here's the timetable. All of the channels are linked in my description box. So if you want, you can just go to my description box and click the next one in the list. But thank you again for coming along. Thank you, everybody. It was a very good experience. And uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Thanks. Bye.